Okay, this is a bit. Uh, this is a bit of a, a topical question. Well, what what advice would you would you have given uh, Andrew Durso following his infamous incident uh, where uh, Stam Keane, etc., all charged at him? What what would your advice there? So first and foremost, I I'll, I'll add a ride as this kind of advice because actually in the heat of battle with seventy five thousand people telling you you've made the wrong decision, and then people like. Beckham, Stam, Keane and Schmeichel running at you, we could give advice here that, quite frankly, Old Trafford just wouldn't wash and wouldn't work, but we'll, we'll give it a go, right? I, um, I'm a big believer in physical barriers and physical space and having some form of barrier between you and a player, you and an aggressor, could just give you half a chance. And, I, you know, I'm, I, I am saying half a chance because... I think given the level of aggression that was displayed by those players on that day, I think they'd have broken through any kind of barrier. But let me just give a weird and wonderful analogy in that um, I think all of you will kind of be aware. So if, if, if there's a crime scene, the police arrive on that crime scene and they uh, secure the crime scene by using, uh, certainly in England, some blue and white police tape it's as thin as a um, supermarket carrier bag, but it kind of ring fences the crime scene. Everybody gets to that barrier and everybody respects it. Nobody goes under it, nobody goes over it, nobody cuts through it. I mean, it's a piece of plastic tape, right? It's about as strong and robust as, as nothing, but people seem to respect it. Well, certainly in England, maybe they do. But the point I'm making here is if you form that barrier, and as a referee, it may all well just be actually creating that physical space around you by putting your arm up, putting your hands up, open palms, open space, saying, actually, this is my personal space. That's your personal space. It takes a really strong, brave, stupid player to come through your physical barrier of arms and palms being out. And if they do, I think that's made your job really, really easy. So if you form a barrier, if you form some space by putting your arms out, putting your open palms to say no further, you stay there, I'm staying here. If any player, whether it be Yap Stam, Roy Keane or any player for that matter, if they come through your barrier, everybody at your game expects now for you to take disciplinary action against that player. So it's actually made your job really, really easy. But don't forget the rider I've put on that, that you know we're in a really comfortable, warm learning environment. Old Trafford that day wasn't a nice, cosy, warm learning environment for Andy. And I'm sure it's very different uh, in the heat of battle. Yeah, and, and as uh, you were on the same course as I was, um, um, Dan, UEFA course the start of March, and that's exactly yeah. what UEFA were telling, um, yeah. telling us all. Uh, if somebody actually moves in, well, well, first of all, I thought it was very interesting that some referees encroach into player space. Um, and 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 likewise, some players encroach into referee space. And just just the notion of actually stepping back, or as you say, putting the putting them palms palms up, which is non-threatening, non-aggressive, yeah. uh, yeah. as opposed to pointing or whatever. Palms is a very calming and, and diffusing type of type of uh, sign. Yeah. And and just uh, saying, and as you say, if then they want to come then into your office, then that's a completely different thing. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. It's, it's made your job earlier, yeah. yeah.